Watch. And this was when I realized this job was not for me. This is why Sarah is not allowed on site. She just distracts everyone. She doesn't do anything. I'm Trady Barbie. We should make a film clip. No, we should do some work. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another episode of your favorite series, the Renault series. So if you're not up to date with what's going on in our life at the moment, pretty much we are renovating our dream home. Ripped up the floors, the walls, we're pretty much starting from scratch in the inside. So we're documenting this whole process and it's so hard to edit it because Things happen every single day and so I just like bring the camera along and I document everything that's going on. Yeah, let me just say it's really hard to make into vlogs. So the other day I sat down at my computer and I was watching all of the scenes that I filmed and like the progress of the house and I was like, whoa, you guys are so behind. So this is it. This is a jam-packed episode of pretty much everything that has happened in the last few months. So without further ado, let's get into the huge Renault updates. Wow, so this is the main bathroom and it's a shell of a room. Like it has no floor, no walls. It's really hard to see it on paper, plan it with Maddie, and then come in here and like imagine it. This is so nerve wracking. It's really nerve wracking, especially like when you get the invoices of like how much things are costing and you just hope it's gonna look good. This is honestly why I'm so, so grateful we have Maddie because she just gives me that extra confidence that what I'm picking and what I'm deciding on is gonna look good because yeah, this would just be so much more difficult without her. We still need to try to get the engineer out to make sure we can get rid of this pole, which is currently in the middle of our island when we actually get the kitchen started. Let's see what they've done in the ensuite. Oh my gosh, it's so hot today. It's supposed to be 41 degrees Celsius. So this is the ensuite that the boys have jackhammered up. They've gotten rid of everything. Again, I can't imagine this looking like a room, especially this one. This is really, really difficult to envision because we're actually getting rid of that wall and building a wall here. So all of that space there is gonna be cupboard space. I hope that makes sense. So this is the current ensuite wall that actually had like a little window that peeped into the bedroom so you could like see the bed from the bath, which like I wasn't fully into. So our plan is to knock out that wall, move it back a little bit so that we can actually create a whole new cupboard space. So even though we're creating a smaller ensuite, we'll have more storage space, which is important for us and our family because in the ensuite, I take like two seconds, but with my clothes, like I have a lot of active wear. So are we saying goodbye to the red tiles today? Oh, uh, maybe not today. We might, might do four. We'll do four Riley, if you want to savor them and put them in your bathroom, you can totally do that. Yeah, they look really pretty. I think we should just keep them. Yeah. Maybe we should rework it to keep the red tile. We're gonna have an early mark today because it is like 40 degrees outside, but the bathroom floor's coming up all right. Good work, we're getting progress. All right, let's wrap this up. Go home, have a swim. Mama says on site, boss girl, project manager. So what do we have to do today, sir? What are we, what are we discussing? Do you know what's happening? Something about trench and something's gone wrong with the electricity and the plumbers and money, money, money. That's all I hear. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, water pools here at the front door, and when they were cutting it out, they nicked the data to the office, so we don't have any internet in there. So now they've got to dig a trench somewhere. I have the boss here to make the decisions. Are you going to dig a hole in my beautiful fake grass yeah. that is so well manicured and maintained right now? <laughs> yeah, the weeds are there, look. I think what we'll do, we'll come out this brick van, come through here, and then peel that seam. Come up the side here with these steels. You can always put latticing over the front for yeah. growing something. Oh, and that way you hide fabulous, it. like... <laughs> that was a light bulb moment. So you may have heard our electrician Brent suggesting to panel that side wall. So I was originally just going to paint that wall white and cover it with like lots of plants and palms and things. But when he suggested to panel it, I was like, yes. This is amazing. So I just kind of like ran with that idea and we drew up a cool idea of like doing like that weatherboard look on the wall and I'm so glad we did because I feel like it transformed the space. We still have to paint it but I just love the construction of it and I think it's really going to tie the whole backyard together. It's dumb and dumber. <laughs> 
the side. <laughs> Okay, Kurt is actually out at the moment. I wish he was here to narrate this section, but this is his favorite room of the house. It's a little storage compartment. The house is, I guess you could call it three levels. It's like the bottom level, the top level, and then it's like five stairs up to a rumpus area, like a media room. So in between the second floor and this third floor, there's like this space in the roof. Our electrician Brent, again, with the great ideas, he found this huge empty space in between the floors. And he was like, you guys should use this as storage and Kurt was automatically sold. Nice little space here, so that's what I'm currently doing today. Lay the floor, I had to support it all, all the rafters and that and underneath. Put some framework up for the walls. Just gotta build a little wall across here. Jit rock the walls and yeah, it'll be done. Storage room is coming up nicely. It's gonna be airtight in here. We've got the ceiling in. Just gotta patch it all up. Put the jit rock walls up. Got a nice ramp. Riley did this one. Looking good. Looking good, mate. Hey? There's a good little storage space in there. Put all our baby stuff, maybe like our snowboards, that type of thing. Should be good. All right, update. I feel like we haven't filmed in a while, so there's a lot to update you guys on at the moment. So basically the upstairs bathrooms have been sheeted. Our understairs storage has been completed. Downstairs bathrooms getting sheeted, so it's all moving along. But anyway, I'll show you what we've got. So this is the upstairs main bathroom. Basically, it's all ready for the tilers to come in and do their job. Understand storage. It's been painted in here. Just got to pull up the tape. The flooring is just going to be raw like this. Like, we don't care. Basically, it's just to throw stuff in here. The powder room, ready for tiling. The stairs. And the sparkies today are putting in the lights, which you can see here is drawn on the wall. So lights will go in today. Connor's sheeting the bathroom. You wanted a feature, mate. Here's your, here's your moment. <laughs> It's the one and only. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so main bathroom, we're gonna put a new window in because this one is just shot and old. But yeah, the sheeting's going in. Starting to come together down here as well. Sparky's moving power so we can cut our window open. We've got to support him behind the wall. So Noki's cutting out right now. So we can cut this whole section out and open up the cabinet space. Busy day on site. Yeah, do the. We want you to knock down oh, the brick wall. Oh. So you just gotta hit it with a sledgehammer. Oh no, I'm actually scared. Put those on your ears. <laughs> you like them? <laughs> Good like man. Them. Oh, he's a working class man. <laughs> I don't know the words. Where are the, how the lyrics go? Na 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 na. So as I mentioned before, we're knocking out this wall so we can have a huge closet space. See this wall here? This needs to go so we can actually access this space here. More space equals more clothes. Oh, I don't, it's embarrassing. <laughs> go high, go high, go high, go. Like Three. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start up high? Yeah, yeah, and you're just gonna, you're just gonna <laughs> go, hold it, hold it a bit closer to the, the mallet because you're gonna have to hit the up what? here. Just hit it up here. Go, just tap it to start with and then build up your strength. Just tap, tap it in. Tap it in. Just yeah. give it a little tap. In. Tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap. It's too good for your home. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no, no, oh, God, you're going to cramp your fingers. What, what you there doing? you go, Mama Bear. Get it, Mama Bear. Yay! And then COVID-19 decided to grace us with its presence and social distancing became a thing. This is when we thought, should we change our garage into a gym? Originally, that was not the plan. It was just going to store one of our cars and like our surfboards and things like that. But I have to admit, I'm kind of loving it as a gym at the moment. Yeah, the big dog! Oh, yeah. 
Is it cold out there? This is our friend Brenton and he, you're our apprentice today. Well, what are we doing? Boss, apprentice, second in charge. No, I'm boss. I was under the impression that we kind of knew the game plan of the house and the reno series. Like we were just doing the inside of the house and then the last episode would be like the backyard and then we show you. But ISO has kind of changed things. Social distancing, everyone's stuck at home and we have kind of accidentally made our own gym in our new house garage. So- Sarah's not happy about it. No, no, no. I am happy about it. I just don't want it to become like a full on gym and then we can never put our car in there and like put our camping stuff in there and like surfboards. It has to be a garage eventually. But at the current moment, social distancing, there is no end in sight. I don't know when you guys are gonna see this episode, but at the moment, it's still ISO style. And I feel like it's never gonna go back to normal. So today we have enlisted the help of the big dog Brenton, who owes us some favors. A lot of favors. He's coming out of the toilet now. So he's gonna help us. We're gonna spend the day working on the home gym. I think the theme is gonna be like black and white and really basic. We're gonna make this a quick turnaround. This is like a house flipping challenge. Okay, so. Brenton over there in the background acting like he's doing, doing things. <laughs> Yesterday, this gym, the garage, all these little patches here, they were like a really, really dark charcoal color. Noki has been working all day, big man, <laughs> at painting everything vivid white. We just wanted to clean the walls up, just so that it looked a bit nicer and neater. We're onto right. this wall, we're getting <laughs> these out. Yes. Yeah. Are you hammering them in? I saw you. Yeah, you gotta hammer them in, then you gotta slice these ones. Slice the ones that are. Oh, ones that are oh I thought you were getting mm. them out. So you kind of get it in an angle and then you sort of twist around once you cut into it. Do you want me to show you first? No. This is boring. This is what happens every time. Well, she do gets you know why? Halfway into one job and then goes, this is boring. Do you and know then, why? Why? Because when you watch shows like The Block, you watch the demo episodes and it's like. And it makes it look. Fun, like Skrillex makes everything look fun. But when you actually do it without Skrillex, it's really boring. <laughs> <laughs> Show me how a real man does it. Yeah, show me how a real man does it. <laughs> Not you. Oh, look at that. Comes out like butter. Nice and easy. All right. Together properly, and then we've got limited time before it sets. So, you literally, just whip it on your thing, get it like a decent amount on there, and just sort of do yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen my dad do it. Why can't I do a demo of this? Yeah, the girls. Yeah, that's, that's oh, a little bit. Oh, little. That's child's play. Oh, oh that's it. No, no. Shivers. Okay, you need to stop doing that. Stop doing that. Less on your thing. Come Less on. on the thing. Come on. I have technique now. Ready? Right. You've got this. The first one. Is like squish, yeah. squish and slow, so you get it in like the crevice, and then smear. Oh, see, Sun City wins the race. See that? That's what the water looked like before yesterday. Yeah. That's what everything. And then I was like, "What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel." Ugly. <laughs> now it's like, "What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel." Oh. Okay. You want to do this part? No. She has left the building. Did we and could we get rid of the post that stands in the middle of our kitchen and our living room? So here is the post I'm talking about. And as you guys know, one of my friends, Maddie from Studio Albus, she's amazing. She is our interior designer and she designed the most epic kitchen, like literally my dream kitchen. But I told her that we probably wouldn't be removing that post. I just kind of like put it in the too hard basket and we thought that getting an engineer out would just be like too expensive. So anyway, Maddie designed the whole kitchen around this post and pretty much we were gonna have to have our island, like our breakfast island stone in the middle of the post. So the post would be sticking out of the island, if that makes sense. And we just thought it was really gonna annoy us, to be honest. Like, if we were spending all this money renovating the entire house, we were like, look, we may as well get a structural engineer out to get their opinion, see how much it's gonna be. And guys, we got him out and he was like, easy as pie. All right, it's a big day today. We're finally moving the post in the background here. We've propped it all up. Got all the props in there now, ready to go. Okay, we're just here for moral support and to capture the moment. But this is the best part. This is like the biggest change in the house. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. How'd you go? It's all done. So now we just wipe 
Jibrock bulkhead around it. So you barely, you'll barely even notice it. It's gonna look so much better and just like so much more open. Oh, I'm so glad we did it. Have you filmed anything? Um, I've taken a couple of selfies. Portrait <laughs> pictures. Portrait pictures. <laughs> <laughs> A lot is happening at the house today, so a lot has happened since you guys have last come here. Every day I come, something crazy has happened, like tiling, floors, this gym space. So quickly, let's just talk about the gym, aka the garage. But the boys did this amazing roof, because I'll insert a photo of what it looked like before. It was basically all just like foil and stuff. So equipment is so hard to find right now, but we got out from Orbit Fitness, which is the same stuff that I got for my Pilates room. That's all happening. Come in the backyard. It's fun that now things are getting like rebuilt and not like yeah. torn down. Yeah. Yeah. P.S. This is obviously filmed on a phone. That's how little we've been vlogging. It's just like we're busy. We forget to bring the vlogging camera. Yeah, it's true. So, it's true. What the heck? What the heck? So last time you guys saw it, there was just like floorboards with holes and stuff. Now it has what is con concrete screed? Cement, not concrete. Cement bed. So there's plastic and then chicken wire and then cement and then we'll floorboard on it. Brendan, who's doing our bathrooms, he's so good, hey? Yeah, have like, we? We haven't even revealed haven't the bathrooms even, yet. No, this one, there's so much to do. There's a pink shovel in Yeah, there. that's made for you. He did it just for you. Well done, good job. But my turn. Whoop. I like the shovel. Is this yours? Yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> In all of this explanation, I speak in like um, collective terms. <laughs> yeah. And again, I just put down the ideas and I go home. So <laughs> me does not mean me at all. <laughs> so we <laughs> made this big window all together. Because <laughs> originally it was just like these, this little column window on each side and it was really dark in here. I still think it will be pretty dark because this looks out onto the neighbor's fence. But this is going to be one huge window. And then this, what I'm standing in, if you move out a bit, this is one big shower. It's our ensuite. So we're going to have one shower head here, one shower head here, and a big glass door. So we can, like, a family shower. <laughs> <laughs> Dance like that too? At least creepy way. <laughs> ensuite with like a sliding barn door. Yeah, so this got cut out as well. We also cut this out. Yeah, we. All of us. Are you ready for the most exciting part? The biggest change upstairs. This, this is the part that gets me excited. To find a Tyler, what have you guys actually recommended him? Because I went on an Instagram story and someone, actually a few people DM'd me his number and he's amazing. I'll link him here. He basically has to put all of our tiles out and seal them because it's a natural like porous stone, it's terrazzo stone. This is the room that's closest to finished. Oh, it's ugly. Oh, is it? They, they put things in. Oh yeah, because they want to they cover it. Okay, well just use your imagination. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This is clearly a job site. So we've got these beautiful tiles. Ah, uh, the colors them. are not doing it justice, but this is yeah, actually like a true, a true white. It's a little yellowy. It's white. Yeah, it's white. Okay. It looks beautiful. And then the floors and the nibble. Is this a nibble? Yeah, this would be a nibble. This is covering up the cistern for the this bathroom. This is terrazzo, so if you look really close. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love this. I yeah. love the buttons. Yeah. They're the best. Okay, so obviously the grout is not done, so it looks black, but it's going to be white. Yeah. Oh. So all of this black line, that will all be white. I love I should be sponsored by Pinterest, I'm telling you. I've like referenced them in every single video. I'm obsessed with Pinterest. So I have a Pinterest board for every room of the house. I try to be as specific as possible so I can kind of like put my hands in the air when the tradies start. So we have like an amazing joiner, a tiler, electrician, builders, carpenters, our foreman Riley. Like we've just got amazing people working on the house. And I just like that everyone is on the same page. So for instance, you'll see in an upcoming vlog, we ordered all of our doors and windows in white and they came with like little silver trims. And I didn't even have to say anything and our tradies called up the window place and they're like, whoa, 
says he hates silver. So it's just cool that we're all on the same page. But yeah, keep up to date. Make sure you subscribe because I have so much to update you guys on. And at this point right now, it is the 18th of June, something like that right now. And I'm a mum, guys. I feel like once I gave birth to Fox, like I have no idea what day of the week it is. I just kind of like roll with the punches, but it's it's the middle of June right now. At this point, I think we will be moved in in two months, which to you guys might sound like a long time, but for us, we've been renovating for like 10 months. I just can't believe we're at like the last sprint, the end of this renovation process. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more daily uploads, then you can follow my Instagram, Sarah's underscore day. And I'm usually at the house posting something, posting little updates. So feel free to check that out. But if if not, I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.